Welcome back everyone. Uh, today uh, with the secrets of tennis we're gonna try to improve your forehand. You're gonna like this one because we're gonna go from a more of a uh, beginner forehand to a really advanced forehand for adult or kids and it's pretty easy if you follow the steps that I will show you today to really advance your forehand to a more modern forehand. For sure the racket uh, technologies has changed a lot over the years and you'll see a lot of players a little older they still have uh, old style forehand so they hold the grip continental like this with a V so they just swing the ball like this with the forehand so they I call it like the pendulum forehand so we can see Natalie showing the old style forehand so Natalie show, show it to us with the eastern grip and you can see here there's not much control and there's a big separation in your in the arms here so that's the old style forehand that will try to correct it which looks like a pendulum like a clock so we're gonna try to change that so I'm sure a lot of you at home have maybe hit somehow this kind of forehand maybe a little worse maybe a little bit better and now with my different tips we're gonna try to kind of improve Natalie's forehand to a more modern style forehand that will look more like a Nadal or Federer Foran or Sharapova. So uh, the first thing that's very important for you at home to understand is where to position your hand on the grip for the modern style Foran. So the grip that we will use on the modern style Foran is the same as Federer or Sharapova is the semi western grip. So how you hold this grip? It's like you have the racket on the table and you just put your hand on top. So basically your knuckle of your index is on the outside here and your knuckle of your thumb is on the inside. So it really looks like this. So that is your grip for the new forehand that you will use today in these exercises that you can practice at home. So the first exercise I'll have is Natalie get comfortable with the grip. So she has her knuckle on the outside and the thumb knuckle on the inside. It's really like she's gripping the racket from the table okay so now Natalie your first progression to hitting a modern style forehand I'm gonna ask you to be a little bit more engaged with your body so it will look like you were throwing the med ball or doing the skip rope or the ladder you're gonna sit a little bit more engage your abs engage your lower back your butt your leg so everything needs to be a little bit more engaged and we want to make sure that the front foot the left foot so for you at home is this foot is a little bit more open so Natalie open your front foot a little bit more so her hip can pass a little bit more so it doesn't look like this but she can incorporate a rotation so now she has the right grip she's engaged so what I'm gonna ask Natalie is to look at herself in the mirror like the racket is a mirror so she's gonna put the racket like this so for everyone at home the thin part of the racket should be facing the net okay so you would look yourself in the mirror and that's the way you want to start the forehand with the right grip okay the semi-western grip looking at yourself in the mirror thin side over looking at the net so you don't want this you want this very thin and looking at yourself and now you're gonna take this left arm you stay engaged don't forget that and you're gonna bring it across your body like this okay about a racket length of distance not like this not like this all right I just want a racket length okay so we have the mirror we have the left hand and we have the racket length so you guys are almost there almost looking like a professional now so the next thing is to bring the racket down here so like if it was on a table and then from there you get under the ball and you follow through above your left shoulder so we'll do it again and then we'll do it with some balls uh, right after 
Natalie, you're gonna engage your legs again. Have the right grip. You're gonna put your racket in the mirror position. Bring your left arm across. Good distance here. So that should be, and then you're gonna, that should be natural now. Then you're gonna drop the racket on the table. And from there, swing under above your shoulder. So now Natalie is gonna do a few swing, maybe five swing without stopping with all the correct ingredient that we added on the forehand. So Natalie, engage and she'll swing freely. She can do five or six swing without stopping just to get the motion without the ball. So mirror, hands close to each other, table, swing out. Go again, Natalie. Yes, see, mirror, excellent. Yeah, good distance. So it's almost as she could put her racket in my hand here. Okay, and she looks at her at my hand. Okay, good distance, good. And then she swings under, finish well above the shoulder. Excellent. Good. All right, so now we will send a ball to Natalie. So she will put her racket, she will be engaged. She will put her racket in the mirror position, but she will catch the ball with her left hand. And then once she catches the ball with her left hand, she will drop it and she will feed herself a forehand that she will hit. So that'll give her a little bit more time to focus on her coordination and proper technique for the modern style forehand. So Natalie, you're ready? Here we go. So we can throw her a ball. She'll catch with the left hand and drop it and then hit. All right, again, catch with the left hand, drop and then hit. Yes. So what I like when you catch with the left hand, it brings your arm across your body, which is important. And then Natalie, bring the racket down now and swing under. And if you look, stop. Very important, Natalie catch. She has the racket face there. And then she's go under, but when she hits, you don't want to hit on the side here. So you don't want to hit here on the side. You want to make sure your impact is one foot in front of you. So if I would put a marker, Natalie would try to hit like one foot in front of the line. So that's where she hits the ball. Okay, she doesn't want to hit the ball there. She wants to hit really the ball one foot in front of herself. So we'll do again the exercise where she catches, catch, feed, hit in front. See, so yes, perfect. That was right there. One foot in front of you, Natalie. Excellent. Catch, feed, hit in front. Excellent. So she has a nice follow through and it. It doesn't stop here. It really has a long, long follow through. So now we will try without stopping the ball. So Natalie will naturally put her racket up like this with her left hand across the body, stay engaged, drop the racket and hit one foot in front, finish above the shoulder. So let's feed five to 10 balls. You guys can do 20 and uh, you'll improve like this. Okay. Get well under, Natalie. Good. Do it in a slow motion now to really show your proper, proper technique. Perfect. Okay, she can do it slow and then as she feels comfortable, she can accelerate a little bit more. All right. All right, stop. That's good. So what is important here that to have the racket here is because you're going to drop after the racket and that generates some speed. So you can accelerate better on your forehand if your racket is up here. If you're just here, you don't have much room to accelerate. Like the first forehand, it's not much rotation and not much room to accelerate. So this what it does, it helps your racket to drop, use the gravity then you can push off with your leg a little bit better and have a little bit more leverage, room to accelerate because of the gravity. It's like you're dropping your racket in a roller coaster and then it accelerates up really fast. So 
Let's do again five more to finish this lesson on the forehand. If we can put it all together when she accelerates. Drop the racket and excellent. And she can breathe out when she hits. Like you hear Sharapova breathe out. It helps her to relax when she hits the ball. Excellent. Couple more, Byron. Bravo. All right, so now let's do just a couple very slow so you can show people at home that they can do it as well at the, you know, from beginner to kind of a modern style forehand. See if you can do it. Last two like this, very easy. Like you at home, you can do that if you follow the instruction and practice it. So you see everything engage, the racket up, the shoulder is turned with the racket length, the racket goes down, generate some speed, swing under and finish above the shoulder. So that really looks like Federer's forearm and you can master it at home if you practice with simple feed or you can swing it just in front of a mirror and I'm sure that you will improve it and it will give you more control and you'll have much more fun with your game because it will play at a higher level. So thank you for watching. Game.